I've seen some questions pop up about how to customize the menu so that some users see some items and other users can see other items up here in your upper menu on your Lifter LMS website. So with Lifter LMS out of the box, if I come to my menus under appearance menus, I can see this is the menu that's displaying right there at the top, the home blog course catalog. We can see all that here. And there are a few Lifter LMS items. If I go to screen options at the top, Lifter LMS, make sure that's checked. That way I have this option on the side. I can add things like a sign in sign out link and those will automatically add to my menu and it will display the appropriate one. So if I reload over here, I now have a sign out and then it'll be sign in if I am uh, not already signed in. But I can't really control too much about these other menu items at the moment. If I go to the home page, I don't really have any options here other than just changing its position in the menu. So that's where a free plugin like user menus comes in or nav menu roles. For this demonstration, they'll both pretty much do the same thing. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is download this user menus plugin and go ahead and add that to my website real quick. And we'll see we have some more options for hiding and displaying menus based on if users are logged in or logged out and even some more advanced features than that. So go ahead and add the plugin to your website by heading to plugins, add new. And of course I uploaded it there, but you could probably search it up on the WordPress repository. But now that it's added to my website, let me go back to my menus area and I should have some more options now. Look at my downloads there. Go ahead and open up my menu items. And I now have this option, who can see this link? And so I can say logged in users or logged out users. So if this menu item was only visible to people who are logged out, I could say, the home button is only going to display if you're logged out. So since I'm logged in, I'm not going to see it. But then if I go to an incognito window here, I will see it because I'm not logged in in this window. So that's a pretty simple uh, way to do logged in versus logged out view. Now, if we select logged in, we'll have some more options here. So you can say if you're logged in, but you have to be a student, if you want to say which roles will see or which roles won't see this link. So you could say this is for logged in people, but only if they're admins. I wouldn't recommend getting into this uh, who it's supposed to be. I would just go ahead and, and check all of these or just say which roles won't see it. That way it's uh, logged in versus logged out. But if you want to get more complex, if you're doing some sort of front end course creation, try uh, trying to get that kind of setup going. Uh, you might want to say this menu item is only going to be visible to logged in users, but only if they're instructors. And another menu item might only be visible to students. So you could try doing something like that. But this plugin is really useful for that basic login or logout view. So you can really control all of your menu items and say that this item is going to be viewed for logged in users. And this one is going to be viewed only for logged out users. So yeah, I thought I'd do a quick demo of how you can customize the menus on your website and show specific things to users who are logged in and specific things to users who are logged out.